Okay, so tomorrow's the day that this patch goes live. This was communicated communicated to us last week, and it's in reference to the Uber Unique crafting that's coming into the game. And like I said, it drops tomorrow. But the purpose of this video is something that's been brought to my attention that I wanted to share with you guys. And really, I not only want to let you know what I've been told, but I'd like to get your feedback because I've been thinking since this information was brought to me and brought to my attention, like, is pay to win coming into Diablo 4? Like, that's kind of what my mind went to right away. And let me explain where I'm going with this. So a couple of days ago, I had some people come to me and tell me, hey, Sammy, do you know that there's duping going on in the game, that there are streamers and content creators that are giving away free mats and doing runs, free uh, uh, durial runs, you know, yada, yada. And they mentioned some other stuff that I don't want to say here just because I'm not going to go on hearsay. I want to actually... Uh, only talk about things that I can back up and are factual. Uh, so I looked into this and sure enough, now when I looked and went on, uh, you know, naturally when it comes to streaming, you got to go to the most popular site and that's um, and, and that's the uh, Twitch, obviously. Uh, so when I the other day when I looked, there was a lot more. I just looked now and this person's doing free Durial runs. And there are a couple of other more that look like they're doing it. But I have to say, not as many as when I looked the other day. So I don't know how valid the comment about, you know, streamers are doing free Durial runs and giving away mats and all this kind of stuff. I don't know how valid that is because when I'm looking now, there really isn't a lot that hit me in the face. Um, so take it with a grain of salt. I can't validate that one. However, uh, what I can validate is this tweet, which when I was brought this information forward, this is a tweet. So I took the image of it and it's basically IGGM. I've never heard of them, uh, are doing a Diablo 4 Season 3 getaway. And as you can see there, it's in reference to Season of the Construct. And anyone that's played Diablo 4 would recognize these images on the giveaways. And they're conducting a ton of giveaways, actually, as you can see on the top there. Um, so I said, you know what? W what exactly is this? Like, pay to win is not normal. These kind of websites have existed for eons. So this is not new to Diablo 4, nor have they created this problem. This is rampant in basically the majority of video games. People just, for whatever reason, are willing to use their hard-earned money and pay to win, you know, get items, whether it be cosmetics or advantages in the game. Some may refer to it as cheating. And I guess depending dependent on what items we're talking about, I would tend to agree with them. Uh, however, hopefully I don't screw this up. Get rid of the tweet, go back to here. And this is the website from the tweet when I looked into it. And I've gone back onto this website and there it is. Diablo 4 Season 3, Season of the Construct, Diablo 4 Gold Items Boosting. Again, nothing new. The boosting, buying items, this is, you know, nothing new. Hot sale, complete category, five star. Life. Okay, I don't want to, you know, promote them anymore. So let's click on this. Okay. And I've already done this, by the way, obviously. <laughs> I want to see where it's going. But immediately, you see here they're doing some sort of mass sale and selling of the items for the Durial fight. All right. So these are the items that you need in order to fight Duriel. You need two shards of agony 
and two muki muki mucus slick eggs to fight durial right so here you can buy them individually or it looks like they're doing a massive bulk sale buy 45 get an extra five now come and get it sorry um so again i don't want to promote this website because i personally think it's trashy but that's my personal opinion um so he, i was like wow we have this patch that's going to drop tomorrow and it's about uber unique crafting and it's about the premise of how it was communicated to us was look we know we have all these players that have duplicates and uber uniques that they don't need so this is a way of utilizing them break them down and you can now craft an uber unique of your choosing okay but my question to you is because of the amount of time it takes to farm the mats to fight durial even though they have said that the drop chance of uber uniques acquired outside the uber, uber durial encounter has been increased they didn't mention an amount people are still naturally gonna want to fight durial because of the increased chance that has always been commuted it's the best spot to get a uber unique right so that's not going to go away until the developers say by the way it's the same chance wherever you go right so until that uber, fighting uh durial is going to be the number one place for people to want to get an uber unique so my question to you is because it takes so much time all right some people say it takes 50 hours to get an, an uber unique okay of grinding and fighting Duriel. It's RNG, right? Some people get it earlier, some people get it later, but I think I heard a stat of approximately 50 hours, right? To get one to drop. Best case scenario, I think, personally. But anyway, forget about that. Um, so naturally, when something is not within your grasp and it's hard to attain, a certain part of the population are going to go towards, I don't want to use the word cheat, but um, they're going to try to find the path of least resistance and the easiest way. And some will go to those websites that the website that I've shown and bite on that and pay hard earned money to, to be able to repeat the Durial fight really quick, really easy and get them and get that hopefully gets them to drop and they can now craft one that they want, right? There is going to be a certain part of the population that's going to do that. But th that's another discussion. I I I'm thinking like high level for the game. Do you think this patch is going to create an economy of pay to win? It got me thinking like the sentiment out there is that uber uniques are hard to get very hard to get and it takes a lot of time to get them so with that in mind people either have to put the time in which some people just can't because of what's going on in their you know they work right so they only have five six hours a week um, some people just don't want to waste all that time with the hopes of getting think about this right if it takes 40 50 30 60 hours whatever it is okay i don't know i've just heard of these uh stats to get one or two do the math in order for you to start getting duplicates because you need five duplicates to be able to craft one uber unique in this new crafting system that's dropping on february 13th so just do the math, right? Quick math. You're in hundreds of hours, hundreds. And I already know there's people that have come into my uh, videos in the comment section and told me, you know, they've done a hundred Durial fights with this many Uber Uniques. And then I also have, oh, I've, I've gotten three Shakos, whatever, right? The Godfather. I've gotten the Godfather five times. Like, so, but somewhere in the middle lies the truth, right? So really I'm interested to know is this going to create an economy of pay to win? 
So I wanted to share this with you. I've been told a lot, like a lot of other other stuff that's going on, which I can't validate. And I don't, I don't want to discuss like, you know, duping and stuff like that. I, I don't know what's going on, but, um, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. I want to hear from the players that are still playing Diablo four. Have you seen this? Have you come across it? What do you think? What do you think of this? Are you okay with it? If you're playing in Diablo four right now, are you okay if players pay to win and are able to fight Durio way more, get the Uber uniques, duplicates, break them down, create like, how, how serious is this? Look, at the end of the day, this is not new, okay? These kind of websites <laughs> exist, right? There's a part, a certain part of any game, any player in the game that's going to revert to this because they want to, you know, from a cosmetic standpoint, I personally don't have a problem with someone that wants to spend their hard-earned money on cosmetics to look good in a game. No problem. But where I draw the line is when there's a competitive or there's an advantage in-game. And this clearly is an advantage. You're paying for an advantage. The advantage is the opportunity to get an Uber Unique. You're paying for to increase that opportunity and therefore, you're also increasing the chance of you getting an Uber Unique. And with the patch tomorrow, you're increasing your success rate of being able to craft a new Uber Unique because of the pay-to-win feature here. So that's where I draw the line. That should not be in the game. And I'm very confident that Activision Blizzard King feels the same way. And there's no way they would tolerate this. And if they catch people, they're going to ban them and they will ban them. Um, I'm, that I'm certain of. So this isn't an issue of Activision Blizzard King. They didn't they didn't create it. They didn't make these websites. Um, but I'm just curious as a whole, what do you guys think? Is this new patch going to naturally have pay to win sneak into the game and, and, and become the norm? So let me know your thoughts want to hear from everybody get in there i'm very curious to see what happens here with this and if pay to win gets sneaked into the game because it's so tough and so time consuming to get an uber unique let me know your thoughts i'm really interested to hear them uh, as always thank you for watching and if you could like comment and subscribe i would really appreciate it and we'll hope to see you next time take care the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.